it would seem that he hadn't read the New Testament if he's going to make the statement that the New Testament nowhere has any place where Jesus claimed to be divine. It's filled with those kind of claims. But I think what he's probably referring to are statements that can be historically verified or for which we have good evidence. For example? Well, for example, you've got Mark chapter 14, verses 61 through 64, where Jesus is before the uh, Jewish leaders and the high priest says, are you the, the Messiah, the Son of God? And Jesus says, yes, and you will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven. That's something in the Old Testament that only God does, and seated at the right hand of power. In other words, he's claiming to be a co-occupant of God's throne. Shabir, has he convinced you? <laughs> no, I don't think so, because he's referring to the trial uh, of Jesus before the Jewish Sanhedrin, and this is reported variously in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Uh, and uh, in, in Matthew and Luke's uh, versions, we have it that Jesus uh, did not actually affirm the title. He said, you are the ones claiming that I am, in, in essence. And to say that Jesus comes on the clouds of heaven proves that he is uh, God himself, that would be to say that God could not do this for one of his creatures. So I do not think um, that arguing from silence will make Jesus as God, it is clear that to affirm Jesus as God involves uh, a, a logical self-contradiction, it involves a contradiction with the divine scriptures, and it involves also a, a religious problem. Now I want to return you to that passage uh, from the trial before the Jewish Sanhedrin. The Sanhedrin asks him, uh, are you the Messiah, son of the living God? Now, and, and it says that Jesus said, I am, in Mark's gospel, but in Matthew and Luke's account of the same episode, Jesus says, you say that I am. And and unless you can first establish the actual words of Jesus, you cannot build uh, a reasonable uh, commentary on that. Now, it's okay, better but Shabir, to say what does he say right after that you say that I am? He says, you will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven and seated at the right hand of power. I mean, these so you are have to decide, are you, saying, are you saying that his divinity is based on his saying uh, I am, or his saying that he's coming on the clouds of heaven? First of coming all, there's nothing clear. Coming on the clouds of heaven, seated at the right hand of okay. power. Well, here I'm saying that God can do that for any of his creatures, and that would not make the creature himself God.